Wow. 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 Okay. So one of the one of the channels that I follow um, is on top of like a local disaster, like something that happened recently. This is um, this is interesting. Okay, Th let's see let's see what outdoor disasters has to say <laughs> about this bullshit that just happened up at Burning Man. Let's see. For all its beauty and splendor, the wilderness can be a cruel teacher. Mm -hmm. Music festivals offer a splendid opportunity to escape the routine of daily existence mm -hmm. and immerse oneself in a world of tantric wonder. The camaraderie and profound affection for fellow attendees create an unparalleled experience. However, there are instances when this enchanting world can suddenly unravel. Please click the subscribe and like buttons. This is Outdoor Disasters. Oh no. Oh my god. So good. So good. You guys made outdoor disasters. Burning Man is an annual event that takes place in the Black Rock Desert of Nevada, USA. It is a unique and distinctive gathering known for emphasizing radical self-expression, community, art, and temporary community building. Participants at Burning Man are encouraged to express themselves creatively and freely. This can involve creating art installation. It also involves um, some really rich ass people like Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg and a bunch of celebrities and shit like Chris Rock had to hike out of this. Um, uh, DJ Diplo had to hike out of this. Like this isn't just, oh yes, where's this? We just happened to form this Black Rock City. It's, um, we're not rich or anything. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wearing elaborate costumes, performing music, or engaging in other forms of self-expression. Burning Man creates a temporary city in the desert known as Black Rock City, yep. which is built and dismantled by participants each year. The city is organized in a circular layout with streets, camps, and art installations. Art plays a central role at Burning Man with many large-scale art installations scattered throughout the event. The event's theme changes each year, inspiring participants to create art and experiences that align with the theme. Burning Man's roots can be traced to a small gathering on San Francisco's Baker Beach in 1986. Larry Harvey and Jerry James built and burned an eight-foot wooden man to symbolize rebirth. In the following years, the event grew in size and popularity, drawing more participants to the beach. In 1990, Due to increased attendance and concerns about safety and environmental impact, the event was moved to the Black Rock Desert in Nevada, where it has been held ever since. Mm -hmm. The first Black Rock City layout was established in 1997, and the event began adopting key principles, including radical self-expression, radical inclusion, and leave no trace. Throughout the late 1990s and into the 2000s, Burning Man continued to grow and gain attention. Participants built more extensive and more elaborate art installations. The event's temporary nature, principles of self-reliance, and focus on creativity and self-expression attracted a diverse and passionate community. Burning Man gained mainstream recognition and media coverage in the 2000s, leading to a significant increase in attendance. The event has continued to evolve, adapting to these challenges while staying true to its core principles. Burning Man has come a long way from its humble beginnings on a San Francisco beach. It has grown into a significant cultural phenomenon, attracting tens of thousands of participants each year who come together to create a temporary city in the Nevada desert, celebrate creativity, and explore radical... It's an absolutely miserable experience, you guys. It, it fucking sucks so hard. Like, you have to be really rich to actually enjoy this event because it's very difficult to get in. It's very difficult to get out. Like, there's so much dust. Not when it rains like that, but um, there's so much dust that you can't even tell where you're going. So you basically have to trust the lights in front of you um, to get into the event to begin with. And then you just like pitch a tent somewhere or what, or I guess if you've got, if you're rich, you got an RV, right? But, um, there is no, there's nothing.
like you are totally responsible for your disposal of waste. So for those of us who were camping in like three man tents, we had to bring out like our own bucket of cat sand to um, evacuate, if you will. And um, and there's like bartering and trading. It, it's a really bizarre situation. This is like a rich man's fucking thing. And they're acting like, oh yes, this is like a communist, commune, wonderful experience. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's some bullshit, you guys. Full self-expression. Despite changes and challenges, Burning Man remains a unique and influential event in contemporary culture. For the attendees of 2023, their Burning Man experience would be one that will live in infamy. Yep. The annual festival officially began on August 27th, 2023, but splintered before guests even arrived in Black Rock City. The Black Rock Desert is part of the larger Great Basin Desert, which covers a significant portion of the Western United States. At the heart of the Black Rock Desert is the Black Rock Playa, a large, flat alkali salt pan. The playa is a featureless white expanse that stretches for miles in all directions, perfect for the massive Burning Man event each year. The Black Rock... That's a great picture because you can see they set it up in this one spot on the playa and um, like the rest of that area is where you have to figure out how to navigate back to the road. And it's not easy, you guys. It's not fucking easy. Desert experiences a continental climate with extreme temperature variations. Summers are typically hot and dry with daytime temperatures often exceeding 100 degrees. Winters are cold with temperatures dropping well below freezing at night. Rainfall is scarce and the region is known for its arid conditions, but typical conditions would be very different for this year's event. A few days before the start of the event, Tropical Storm Hillary turned Black Rock City into a wet and muddy campsite, bringing heavy rain to the area. Ahead of the festival, videos and images showing the area waterlogged spread on social media. The downpour... So that was like a week ago. That was, um, that was like a week and a half ago at this point that we had her Hurricane Hillary roll in. Um, so the stuff that they had over the weekend is not related to Hurricane Hillary or, uh, Tropical Storm Hillary because it, it broke down, right? Because that rolled over my house and I live very far from this event. Prompted Burning Man organizers to close the gates on August 20th, telling guests and volunteers with a work access pass to delay their plans. Mm. Climate activists temporarily stopped festival attendees from entering the campsite by creating a roadblock on August 27th, the start of the event, causing a traffic jam on the highway. The protesters, who held signs reading abolish capitalism and other oh messages, asked the Burning Man organizers to ban private jets and single-use plastics. Four protesters were arrested and local authorities removed the blockade. Even with the events beforehand, Burning Man 2023 started off without a hitch, just as previous burns. The attendees enjoyed repeated calm days with little dust. A dramatic change from 2022 when people struggling with the heat and choking dust storms were forced to retreat into shelter. Tuesday brought the first consistent winds of the event, blowing clouds of fine playa dust through camps and forcing people to wear masks and goggles. But nothing out of the ordinary. Attendees embarked on an adventure that promised to be unlike any other. For 2023, the theme is Animalia. Attendees were invited to dive deep into the intricate bond between humans and animals, both real and mythical. From art installations to workshops, the burners experienced an immersive exploration of this theme. Many were squeezed into a weathered RV. Groups of friends set out to experience the mystique of Burning Man in the heart of the Black Rock Desert. The palpable excitement was in the air as they left behind the familiar and ventured into the unknown. The stark contrast between the barren desert landscape and the bustling, vibrant community was undeniable. Their camp was nestled amid a vast sea of RVs and tents. Swiftly, they erected their shade structures, essential barriers against the relentless sun, and adorned their camp with strings of LED lights and colorful banners. 
Their home for the next week was beginning to take shape. The Playa, the epicenter of Black Rock City, beckoned them with its allure. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the desert transformed into a surreal wonderland. Art cars, resembling everything from pirate ships to fire-breathing dragons, glided in a mesmerizing procession. I've been on the pirate ship before, you guys. I've been on that pirate ship before. <laughs> this is, I mean, th these people are so fucking stupid that this is, this is how they do every year. They're like, let's do the most white privileged bullshit ever. Every goddamn year. <laughs> Towering illuminated sculptures dotted the landscape, casting surreal shadows on the alkaline dust. Over the ensuing days, they reveled in the freedom of self-expression. Costumes became eclectic canvases adorned with wild combinations of colors, feathers, and glow-in-the-dark paint. They danced until the early hours beneath the pulsating neon lights, surrounded by strangers who felt like long-lost friends. Mm -hmm. As the week unfolded, burners embraced the predictable chaos of Burning Man. Dust storms, heat, low supplies. The event operates on the principle of communal effort, where participants contribute to the well-being of the community. This can involve volunteering, sharing resources, helping others in need, or participating in group projects. What loomed in the coming days was the final night with the ceremonial burning of the man. Right. The entire city will congregate around the massive wooden effigy, its fiery demise illuminating faces painted with awe and wonder. It is a moment of profound unity, a celebration of creativity, and an acknowledgement of the impermanence of the world they had collectively crafted. But disaster would descend on Black Rock City on Friday night, August 29th, 2023, and Burning Man would never be the same. Some of us have right. always felt... The phone call started Saturday morning and didn't stop for Burbank, California helicopter charter operator Ivan Arnold as he was inundated with calls from partygoers at the Burning Man Festival in northwestern Nevada. Heavy rains turned the desert site into a swamp, stranding thousands. They're frantic. They're crying, saying, get me out of here, Arnold oh, said. No. The torrential rains turned roads and grounds into muck as six inches of rain poured on the playa. It began raining Friday, turning the ordinarily rock-hard desert floor into a muddy mess, almost impossible to walk or drive on. Burning Man officials said only four-wheel drive vehicles with adequate tires appeared capable of navigating the streets. Coming and leaving the event on a vehicle was prohibited due to the thick mud, which made traversing the terrain in a standard vehicle oh, impossible. That's good. That's good. Sunday arrived with more rain, more mud, more stranded vehicles, and more frustration for people who wanted to leave. Organizers said people were free to leave the event, but noted it would mean a five-mile trudge across the mud to reach... No, they were not. No, they were not. They were only allowed to leave if they hiked out. They could not take their vehicles out, and so they would still be responsible for coming back and cleaning up their campsites and bringing their vehicles out. Like, this is a, a fucking disaster, you guys. Like, it's not, it's like, oh, oh, you can leave, but you gotta hike out. <laughs> the nearest paved road. Organizers deployed buses to nearby Gerlach that could shuttle people to Reno if they were able to trek off the playa on foot. Burning Man descended into chaos. It was reported the police were investigating the death of one person at the event, which was later verified it was unrelated to conditions. There have been five total deaths in the event's history. Prior to 2023, in 2017, Burning Man festival goers witnessed a disturbing scene during the final day of the event when a man threw himself into the flames of the Burning Man. Mm -hmm. Aaron Joel Mitchell, 41, suffered fatal burns when he ran into the fire and died the following day. Over 70,000 were stranded at the Nevada Desert Festival, with thousands oh, of photos yeah. and videos documenting yeah. the disaster. Burners were left to trudge through mud, many barefoot or wearing plastic bags on their feet after being urged to shelter in place and conserve food, water, and other supplies. Organizers rationed sales of ice and portable toilets were unable to be serviced. A Burning Man attendee stranded at the Desert Festival after severe flooding has revealed some attendees were keeping the party going. David Date, a metal artist, says travel was impossible at that time, but those who remained became radically self-reliant. 
We all have a choice in how we're going to handle things. Everyone open up your Starlink satellites so people can communicate with their families. Don't fight anybody because we're all in this together, Date said. Really? There were reports of a viral outbreak, specifically Ebola. Social media was awash with people claiming that the Ebola virus was found at Burning Man. However, it appeared to be a hoax with no evidence of Ebola at the event. That didn't mean that there weren't real problems. Many burn. Well, I'm not surprised by this because this is a bunch of libertarians who are like super conspiracy theorists. And um, yet at the same time, they're anti-vaxxers, anti-maskers. They don't want to protect themselves against these potential things. But they're like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, okay. Desperate to return home after the chaos, decided to make their way to the main road on foot after officials restricted driving on the muddy and treacherous roads. Even celebrities had to endure the same trek as everyone else. Mm -hmm. While it was recommended to shelter in place, that wasn't a recommendation that was followed by comedian Chris Rock or celebrity DJ Diplo. Right. On Saturday night, the pair walked through six miles in the mud looking for someone to give them a ride. They were eventually picked up by the driver of a pickup truck who offered them seats Six in the vehicle's bed. Now. Diplo was eager to fly to Washington, D.C. for a show and didn't want to disappoint his fans. A fan offered Chris Rock and I a ride out of Burning Man in the back of a pickup, Diplo posted on Instagram. I legit walked the side of the road for hours with my thumb out because I have a show in D.C. tonight and didn't want to let y'all down. Mm -hmm. The Pershing County Sheriff's Office said some people had managed to drive off, but advised against doing so due to damage caused to the playa's surface. It's clay, and it's worse than mud. It fills all the grooves in your tires. Literally, you have no tread to leave, said one burner. The mud is so thick that sculptures of mud people are being made. Walking was almost impossible on Saturday morning, but as the ground began to dry, burners began to have some hope of leaving soon. Then it began raining again that afternoon crushing those hopes. Stephen Adelman, the vice president of the Event Safety Alliance, which recommends safety practices for live events, said he had dealt with unexpected mud at music festivals. You basically have to mobilize every backhoe, tow truck, and other types of vehicles within hundreds of miles, and that's probably what they'll have to do, Mr. Adelman said. And they will have to come from hundreds of miles away because Black Rock City's nearest metropolitan area is Reno. The closures and order to remain in shelter came as the event was supposed to reach its zenith on Saturday night, September 2nd, with the burning of the man effigy towering over the temporary city. All vehicle traffic within the encampments continued to be halted, including services for the thousands of portable toilets that made the event possible. But this didn't... When did they start bringing in porta potties Because, like, that wasn't happening when I went to the event. We had to use a bucket with cat sand. <laughs> when did they start bringing in porta potties? Stop the attendees to make the most of the dire situation. Many attendees appeared to remain in good spirits, playing beer pong in the muddy streets or splashing in the standing water. Techno continued echoing around the encampment, and spontaneous dance parties kept breaking out. Wow. As Monday morning came, Officials with Burning Man stated the grounds remain too muddy and wet for most attendees to leave. Gate Road remains too wet and muddy for most vehicles to safely navigate out of BRC this morning, but is drying. Exodus likely to begin around noon today. Exodus. Monday 9-4, an ex account associated with Burning Man wrote. On September 4th, 2023, as the mud dried, mm -hmm. thousands of Burning Man attendees readied to make their exodus in the Nevada desert as the event ended in a sea of drying mud instead of a party around its flaming effigy namesake. Organizers posted online they would formally allow vehicles to leave at noon. Still, many burners decided to get an early start and a steady stream of vehicles left before first light, many struggling through the slop. The exit is via an unpaved five mile or eight kilometer dirt road to the nearest highway. Photos shared on online sites showed hefty recreational videos. Yeah, and you know, a lot of the videos so far have said it's like one mile, it's like two miles. I don't know, it might be four miles. You guys, you guys are the dumbest ass people I've, oh my God. It's a, it's a long ass distance. 
from where they actually set up Black Rock City versus where you actually get back onto the road. It is not one mile. It is not two miles. It probably is five to six miles. It's it's some bullshit. And you can see that there's a car jam with a... <laughs> These are... These people are white privileged dumbass motherfuckers that they go to this event. It was miserable. It was so horrible when I went there. I, I, I was like so ready to get out of there and try and figure out how to get out of there. And it's <laughs> just fucking miserable. And that was two years ago. When we did not have dust storms, we did not have rainstorms. It was just their basic ev event. It was a renegade Burning Man, so it wasn't even like as big of an event as the regular event. And uh, this is just amazing that it's this dangerous and stupid. Vehicles sunk up to the tire rims in mud with some using boards under the wheels to help get traction. Oh my God. When the road finally reopened, a long line of vehicles snaked through the desert, inching along in an epic traffic jam as event organizers urged drivers to take it slowly and consider delaying their departure to reduce traffic. It really looked apocalyptic, said festival volunteer Evi Airy. When you see the people walking barefoot in such a cold with the children, some people have a small child here, like three years old, four years old. I don't know how they survived. Stuck vehicles littered the roads, some of them horizontally blocking lanes roads because they had lost control. The desert path to the main gate was a graveyard of marooned cars. In an update issued on Monday morning local time, organizers postponed the event's traditional finale, the burning of an effigy, to Monday evening. Consider delaying your departure until Tuesday, they said. This will alleviate large amounts of congestion throughout the day today. Despite right. the chaos that descended on Black Rock City the previous couple of days, the burning of the effigy proceeded as planned on Monday night, accompanied by a dazzling display of fireworks that illuminated the... It was supposed to happen Saturday night. It was supposed to happen Saturday night. Okay. All right. It was supposed to happen Saturday night. They had to push it out to actual Labor Day. Okay, let's go. Sky. The crowd erupted in cheers as the cherished 40-year tradition continued. But this particular iteration was unlike any seen in previous years. Conditions were among the hardest in Burning Man's history. Burning Man organizers should be commended for handling this logistical nightmare. They really? navigated this disaster with incredible skill and tremendous grace under pressure no they did not because they literally would not allow people to evacuate while this was going on and people were capable of evacuating on friday and saturday and the police locked them in so no it was not handled with grace give me a break sure Though many attendees don't typically leave until Monday and were therefore not impacted by the delay, many were stuck a day or two more than they originally planned. However, it's undeniable that the downpour dampened the festival's conclusion. However, there's no uncertainty that this year's catastrophe won't deter the dedicated attendees who return to this event annually. In the heart of the Nevada desert, Burning Man ignites a fire. Really? 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 You don't think that this won't be um perceived as something like fire fast the fact that this happened you 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 honestly think you're gonna get the same turnout next year after this bullshit happened okay all right In the souls of those who attend inspiring them to carry the event's spirit with them long after the last embers have faded. Mm -hmm. If you ever find yourself in a similar situation, avoid trying to drive or walk through deep mud, as this can worsen the situation and potentially lead to accidents. Mud can become less challenging to navigate once it dries out a bit. While waiting, you can use this time to clean and prepare your vehicle for better traction. 
Don't panic and keep a positive attitude. Reflect on the circumstances that led to your predicament and take measures to avoid similar situations in the future so you can prevent an outdoor disaster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.